Yes, welcome to our demonstration video. We are going to demonstrate on the main component of a solar powered water pumping system. My name is James Kawunga. I work with Waste Engineers Limited. Yes, um, we start. We are going to start with our solar panels. So, a solar system has to have uh, something that generates power. In this case, it is the solar panels. So, we shall have the solar panels. Uh, from the solar panel, depending on the number of panels you have, or on the uh, pump requirement, the voltage and current required by the pump, that will, will dictate the number of panels that you will have. But also depending on um, the specification of the solar panels. Uh, we are having two, and we are connecting them in parallel. We are connecting them in parallel because we want, we want, we want to double the current, or we want to get current of one pan and then multiply by two and the voltage will keep constant depending on what the pump requires you may either connect them in series or in parallel so we have connected them in parallel we have our LED cable giving power to the switch now from the switch we are taking power to the controller this is a solar controller the solar controller controls the amount of voltage and current going to the pump because um, as the sunshine intensity increases on the panels, the amount of current and voltage increases. So that one has to be regulated by the solar controller. Now our solar controller has, uh, the one we are using for demonstration, um, it has some indicators. For example, it shows you that power is connected, like there is power from the solar panels. It shows you whether the pump is running. Then it has a maximum power point tracking. Then we have a well, we shall see it lighting if the well has issues or if the well gets empty and then tank in case you have connected your tank. Then with this um, controller you can increase speed as we shall see. Then from the controller we have seen the, the, the use of a controller to regulate the voltage and current or the power that goes to the pump because the power here yeah, keeps on changing as the test of sunshine increases. Now from the controller we shall have uh, um, we shall now take power to the water, to the to the pump. Now depending on your water source type, but you may need a submersible pump. I mean a submersible cable. This is our submersible cable bring the power uh, wrong to way up to up to the pump. Now we also have this cable. This cable is uh, it brings power to our sensor, to a water sensor or water level sensor, just in the case. Uh, the well gets empty this level sensor or water level sensor will automatically switch off the pump so you don't need to be there so th this is our pump let me get out of water this is our solar pump it has a maximum a maximum a maximum head of 50 meters and a maximum flow of 1300 liters per hour but that one is selected depending on some factors like the water requirement, how much water you need in a day or in an hour, and then um, uh, your specification. Now, th those are the best components of a solar water pumping system. You also need uh, a pipe that will deliver water where you're delivering, or whether they are tanks or a reservoir or anything. Uh, you need a pipe. Now to protect your system, they actually I didn't talk about uh, the frame. These are solar frames. You need solar frames such that these these solar panels can be firmly hung, so that you can get maximum power from 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 the sun. But here it's just for demonstration. But we shall put it on on the roof. Um. Yes, to, uh, to protect your system from brightening. Yes, there can be chances of writing. You will need to protect your system or to ask your system. Um, and if you look closely, we, ha we have our writing arrester up here. And then I can take you here. And so we can see our writing arrester up, up there. And then our the copper tape. We have a big pit here. We are going to put the earth mat we have seen there. 
and put some some charcoal so that when there is a current or voltage imbalance due to lightning that voltage will be brought through this copper tape to the earth instead of damaging the system Yes, we are going to switch on the pump and we see how we are getting water. Uh, engineer, help me and put the pipe inside. Now, so I'll switch on. You can see now that the running, the pump is being red. We are getting maximum power from the panels. Because of this indicator, the maximum power point tracking. And then this shows that our pump is running and we are receiving power from the panels so with this controller you can decrease the speed of the pump and then you will be limiting the maximum power point tracking technology you can increase so let's go and see our pump so because we have water or we have water in the tank all in our well, this is how it will be working. Our our dry well sensor is inside, and because there is water, that's why the pump is pumping water. So this is just for demonstration.